hi friends welcome or welcome back to my channel adulting again i'm stephanie g if you're new here welcome if you're returning hey girl hey thanks for coming back and clicking on my video since we're adulting again one of the bigger questions that women in your 30s and even over 40 have is can you or should you be wearing leather pants and the answer is yes and i'm going to show you how so in the first outfit that we have i styled a pair of straight leg faux leather trousers they are um more leaning towards a brown or maybe even like an olive green it depends on who's looking at them and what color you'll see to be perfectly honest they, i did pair it with a wrap top that i did get from banana republic the trousers are from target they do have a elastic waist band in the back that gives it a little more um forgiveness in the pants again they are straight leg which i think is perfect for work i also styled them with a pair of mules but they would look really good with a pair of loafers just to kind of smarten up the look um keeping it more professional um if you did wear the mules still perfect for work as well i would say they were be this outfit would be great for work brunch just casual daytime look so let's start out with what i have on today i have on an oversized knit cardigan it is from the brand 1130 by a very well known uh youtuber tiara monet hey girl she is not seeing this video <laughs> However, um, I do enjoy um, items from her collection and her brand. This came as a set. It does come with a skirt. I am using and separating the set as most people do. And then underneath, I do have on a knit cropped top. It is from Aritzia. And for the pants, I have on a more like a taupe color or warm tan i'm not sure what color these are but they are beautiful as soon as i saw them i had to get them they are from tj maxx i love these so much they do have a wide band at the top these are really good for fall and i would say early spring because they do have lining on the inside so that kind of keeps you warm um, without getting too hot and then i also have on a pair of cream colored combat boots these are from the brand shoots and at first when i got these last year i absolutely loved them but i was so scared in wearing them i didn't really know how to wear them i'll be perfectly honest but i absolutely love them now and i will be wearing them many more times this fall than i did last but um they are a great pair of boots so that is what i'm wearing today all right look number two look number two piggybacks off of what i'm wearing today except for one change really and that is instead of wearing the cardigan that i'm wearing now i kept on everything with the exception of the cardigan and i exchanged it for an oversized blazer um, this blazer is thrifted i've talked about this blazer before um, in some of my previous videos but i absolutely love it it is um more of a like a linen blend and it does have lining on the inside to keep it you know warmer so i can wear it in the fall and that's pretty much how i chose to style it for um this edit now what i will say is i would not wear this to work obviously because i do have my midriff out and that would be the difference between the two outfits with the outfit that i currently have on 
I don't have my midriff showing. Um, I just have my decollete out and my shoulders um, more casually keeping the arms long, which they already are anyway. And that will be um, how I would wear it maybe during the day, um, kind of just doing errands, hanging out, chilling around the house, going to brunch, and the difference between the edit that I'm talking about now. I really wouldn't wear that to brunch, mainly because when you eat, we all know what happens. And a crop top just ain't it, sis. It's not it, not when you <laughs> are eating. So I personally would not wear that to brunch, but I would wear it to a Sunday fun day, hanging out, um, with friends and even shopping i would say that in my personal opinion wearing faux leather whether it's trousers joggers leggings any of these things i honestly don't think that they're a great option to wear to go and um go shopping and when i say go shopping i mean trying on clothes if you have any if you think you're gonna try on clothes, I don't recommend wearing all of these things. Number one, I think that it's a lot to take these on and off, especially the ones with the lining. So, you know, you get a little, I won't say sweaty, because you don't necessarily get sweaty, but we all know how these leggings do us, and I don't recommend. You do what you want, but I don't think that it would be a great idea so that would be something in my personal opinion um but outside of that this is how i would style this outfit and these are the ways um places that i would go and that is outfit number two all right so for outfit number three we are going into the black leather leggings and for me when i'm saying leather leggings these are not um 100 leather leggings these are faux leather leggings in all of these edits just so that i'm fully transparent um there is a significant price difference in leather leggings and faux leather leggings i paired this outfit two ways much like um my cream colored leggings and the way that I decided to pair it one way was with a longer shirt and a long blazer also faux leather and I know it's subjective as to whether or not one should have uh, leather on leather but I think in this case it kind of um, worked really well especially with the black striped shirt that I chose to wear and that again for me it did give it that more of a professional or smart look um, I did pair it also with a pair of black booties closed toe as we are in fall this outfit is great for work and then going straight to happy hour or straight to an early dinner date I also think that this would be and can still work going and hanging out with the ladies for a night out. I just would style the shirt differently in order to make it work. So I would make it more tight in the front to give the waist a little bit more interest. Still keeping the blazer for sure if I were to wear this exact outfit. Um, however, in order to change this outfit and make it more appropriate for going and hanging out and I would not wear it to work, I chose to change the shirt and have on this um, crop top that I have from Aritzia and still kept the blazer. And for me, it still is a hit. It really goes takes the outfit from day to night to be perfectly honest it's perfect for date night perfect for hanging out with the ladies just in general so and if you really wanted to you could wear it on a sunday fun day because i'm not i'm not above wearing black at all times i'm not above wearing black at all times majority of my closet is black so there we have that <laughs> 
So these are uh, black leggings that I did get from the Commando. I'm not sure if they're under the Spanx. I believe that they're under Spanx, but they're called Commando. I did get them from Nordstrom. The striped blouse is from Express, as well as the faux leather blazer that is also from Express. If you are not checking for Express, I have been an Express shopper for at least the last 20 years um and that was in my 20s and now in my mid 40s i'm still an express lover and so definitely check them out for the goods because express be having the goods and they be having sales so i would absolutely check them out for sure if you enjoy the way that i'm selling these outfits don't forget to give me a big thumbs up it does help my channel as I am a new channel and it does help push me through the algorithm to know that people do enjoy my content. It also lets me know that you enjoy my content and that you would like for me to continue to create these style guides in the way that I do. Also, if you feel inclined, definitely subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you over here. On this channel, I do create videos for the everyday living. With a heavy focus for women, everyday, everyday living for women over 30, with a heavy focus for women over 40, as I am a woman over 40, I'll be talking about things from fashion to wellness to productivity hacks to keep us going throughout the days. Um, so if that's something that you're interested in, definitely subscribe for more videos. Now let's get into the last outfit for the day. Now this last outfit is super casual and I kept on those same black leggings that I have from Spanx and Commando from Nordstrom. I also added a hoodie and this hoodie I did get from H&M. It is a cropped hoodie and I paired it with a oversized um, denim jacket. This one is by Levi's. I did I did get this one or I borrowed this one from my guy. However, it's now mine. <laughs> and lastly, I added a pair of Vans. I think that this is the most comfortable out of all of the outfits. It is the most casual, easygoing, no brainer outfit. If you're like, oh, I need to run out, but I want to look cute. This is your outfit to do that. You can go shopping. You can go to brunch. You can go to lunch. You can have an, a day date. You can even go to the movies at night in this outfit and still feel put together and still look good. Just because we are um, aging does not mean that we can't look put together, does not mean that we can't be cute. The best thing is honestly just to be confident in what you're wearing. All right, I hope that you enjoyed this week's video as much as I did. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in next week's video. Until then, bye.